Sita Usvilate Ines El Abernet. <lacht> 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 Hello and welcome to another episode of SEO Fairy Tales. With me today is Bastian Grimm, a uh, co-founder and specialist at Peak Ace, which is a Berlin-based performance marketing agency. Isn't that right? That sounds about right. Yes. Yeah. And when you're not working, you are into cars big time, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I spend way too much time on the racetrack these days. So yeah. Well, as long as you only spend time and not like ridiculous amounts of money on the car. Yeah, you know, like goes a bit of both, yes, I suppose, but yes. I see, I right. see. But well, we're not here fun. to talk about cars. You have brought me an interesting technical SEO challenge that you looked into in the past. Yeah, yeah. very much, very much true. So, you know, um, there was this client um, that happens to, you know, when you have agency business, it kind of goes that way, right? Yeah. Where basically we have oftentimes the challenge that you know there are questions that are not really questions, if that makes any oh sense. Oh god, like these these it's all working. It's broken. kind of yeah yeah. Help us. Yeah. <laughs> like you know, Google is broken, do something. Oh yeah, Google is broken. It's oh, always yeah, a, yeah, good, yeah, yeah. It's always always, a good statement, right? It's never us, it's always them. Exactly. Sure. We kind of really used to that by now and it's like I think <laughs> you know, part of the magic is to translate that. And yeah. I suppose you guys are fairly familiar with that problem as well, right? Like you know <sighs> yeah. Specific questions often help. Yeah, and it's also a lot of the context. If the context is missing, it's like our website isn't showing up in search, and or it's, it's like it's not working with search. It's like, what do you mean? What's not? Is it not showing up? Yeah. Is it showing up? Showing up incorrectly? Is it showing up for the wrong things? Yeah. Is it? Is it not? Is it showing up less, but giving you less clicks as well? Or like. What are we looking at? And is, that's why we always say it's de it depends, because it really does depend on the context. So how do you deal with that? When, when someone comes to you with a question like, our website, uh, Google is not working for our website. Yeah. I think the first thing that uh, that you probably need to do is just trying to figure out what's really going on by asking <laughs> counter questions, right? Right. Just so what kind of questions to... are you asking then? Well, I mean, as you said, like, you know, is it, you know, what, what right. countries are we talking yeah. about? You know, what's the, what's the kind of domains, if it's multiple mm. domains? Mm. You know, what, what's the, what's maybe the business impact that you're seeing? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. does it result in, I don't know, less, you know, transactions or yeah. you know, anything? Just trying to figure out the specifics yeah, really yeah. behind a very broad and generic question. I love that you say, like, the business impact, because I feel yeah. like a lot of people are like, this thing isn't working in search, and you're like, and, and that does <laughs> yeah. what to your business? Yeah, no, that, and I think this is also like a, a general issue, oftentimes in SEO, like people mm. are only looking at kind of vanity metrics, mm -hmm. but like it doesn't really translate to, to business impact or mm. business goals. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. So I think this is super important uh, to figure out, you know, what you know, what impact what, does it have on the bottom line or, or not, right? What, what does it do to your business? Why yeah. do you? What's the yeah. goal you want to <clears> fix? Okay, so then you ask them like a lot of follow-up questions. Yeah, and without what? trying to be too annoying, which is also a challenge, right? <laughs> That's true. You don't want to lose that client, yeah. right? Yeah. So okay, you 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 ask them a bunch of follow up questions, and then eventually, what like what was your hypothesis? What did you find out? Yeah, I mean, so in that in that specific case, what what happened was like we got this very broad, like you know, look, the website isn't working. And maybe for context, you know, it was a. Um, it was a business that's operating in Germany, Austria, Switzerland, and mm. France, so international business. And basically, what they said is, what, look, you know. Um, we have a lot of international orders that we can't process. And that doesn't really help much either. So yeah. you know, we kind of start investigating and digging a bit deeper, trying to understand what that really was, what right. their issue was. And yeah. Essentially, what it turned out to be was that there were you know, orders happening, let's say, in, on the Austrian website yeah. that kind of came from Germany, but they couldn't process it. Um, or you know, same for Switzerland. So we right. tried to kind of figure out, you know, All right. what's the impact. And yeah. It kind of looked like there was something around geo targeting, maybe, or any kind of, Ooh. you know, that type of stuff. Now it starts to sound like right. A so that sounds more like, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. you know, Google isn't working is not really the not, proper description not for that. Really not the at thing. all, right? It's not, yeah. It's, that's interesting because when you said like, oh, we have orders that we can't process, I'm like, how is that an SEO problem? But now that you say like geotargeting, I'm like, ah. Yeah, exactly. So and you kind of try to puzzle these things together. That's right? like 180 degrees yeah. from, from Google's not working yeah, exactly. to we get orders from exactly. customers through the wrong website when they come through Google, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was kind of what was happening. So maybe some like further context entry, the business was or is still operating um, country code top level mm. domains, right? So .ch, .at, et cetera, et cetera, yeah. each in their own like 
territory. So, you know, Austrian website for yeah. Austria, you know, French side for France, etc. etc. Yeah. And the business itself. Oh, and you have this problem that like the German website, the Austrian website and the Swiss website pretty much have all the same content. Yeah, same you could, language, you could, same description. So, oh I think God. for those that operate in, 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 the, in the Dach region, right, yeah. that is a fairly common issue, um, especially that, that, you know, businesses that uh, kind of come from, let's say, Germany, they usually, mm. you know, roll it out in the other markets as well. But yeah. there's there's a fairly limited amount of adoption. I mean, of course, like, you have different currencies with, you know, Germany and Switzerland, but yeah. that's tiny, right? It's tiny, that's tiny. Exactly. And, and for that specific uh, uh, business, you're completely right. So the, the the product inventory was exactly the same, mm -hmm. almost exactly the same. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Maybe How, they didn't have this product. Yeah, here, slight yeah. variation, but mm. nothing out of the ordinary, right? Yeah. And and But the major traffic kind of came from uh, like short hat business keywords, right. uh, very generic, high traffic ones. Mm -hmm. They were kind of the same in, in those three markets. Ooh, yeah. um, so what we did even before that kind of issue appeared yeah. was like, you know, look, we need to kind of differentiate in within the market. So they, they each had like exclusive content pieces Mm -hmm. targeting the, the different, different nuances and yeah. because I mean we, we both know that you know there's <laughs> very much cultural differences so that needs to be reflected in the content as well which yes. which which we did but nevertheless all of a sudden um, it seemed to have um, stopped working you know very generically speaking <laughs> for whatever reason that we couldn't uh, figure out yeah. why because you would want the Austrian side Train in Austria, yeah. obviously, and the German one in yeah, Germany, yeah, yeah. right? So that was kind of the where we ended up, like when mm -hmm. we started poking around a bit. It's like, <laughs> okay, that sounds a bit more like a, maybe an SEO problem um, <laughs> at, at first place, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, right. So you identified the actual problem. <laughs> yeah, that was the first big part of the Ooh, puzzle. Yeah, yeah that, that must have been tricky. Um, did, did you get like lots of supportive reactions from the business that you were uh, like? Yeah, I mean, or was it more like, oh, no, I think make it uh, fixed. Uh, well, they always want it to yeah, be fixed. Okay. Obviously, I mean, it had, it had business impact. So like yeah. their um, cancellation rates in the kind of in the shopping basket were like really high because yeah. what happened is like when when you as like a German customer, yeah. you go to the Austrian side, yeah. they can't process you yeah, um, or they right. wouldn't process you. So they wouldn't ship from the Austrian property. Oh, to, so you to basically like, you go through the entire ordering process. Yeah, yeah, and, and then like, you're, sorry, you're, we are not shipping exactly, to your location. Exactly. You're like, what? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so so that was a horrible experience. Yeah. And I think one of the, because we couldn't process as fast yeah. as we wanted with like trying to figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. It's like one of the kind of immediate quick fixes that we did was like this classic kind of overlay. Um, Telling like the you know the Austrian customer, well, oh, yeah, yeah. You you're on the you're on the, the wrong side. Mm -hmm. You may want to go to the other yeah. one so that we can process it. Yeah. That kind of at least took a bit of pressure, pressure away, off right, from system. from us, yeah. but also the system in general because the business impact was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we kind of needed to, to you know to buy a bit of time. I was to about just, to say like, they have to survive long yeah. enough for the solution exactly. to yeah oh. exactly. Because I mean, you know, yeah, you, yeah, you have yeah. to you have to understand the business side as well, and I mean, of course, they are essentially losing money, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. which was there before. So mm -hmm. you kind of want something to happen yeah, relatively yeah. quickly. So well done, like you found a quick fix to kind of alleviate. But not really, right? <laughs> not really. It's, it's not. Yeah. I mean, it's a it's a quick fix. It's yeah. a stopgap solution. Correct. You need to replace yeah. it with something that is sustainable. Okay. Yeah. So then, then how did you figure out what was going on in the system? <laughs> Yeah, so that was kind of the the, the, the process that kind of went yeah. on somewhat in, in parallel, right? So we kind of started, you know, digging and trying to figure out, you know, what what could it be? So like going back to this, okay, it has to be something around mm. geo-ish. We were like, okay, so let's start with the obvious. Like, let's have uh, kind of look into the backlog. Were there any kind of changes as you would do, right? In, in, in right, because it used to work. Yeah, exactly. So and it wasn't right. been, it wasn't been um, altered at all like there were no changes at least no no visible changes mm -hmm. when you were also speaking to like the IT team right now nah, we didn't change anything <laughs> so, i mean they okay. always say that well, like, in fairness, it's, like, in fairness, it's yes. broken. Did you break it? No, it was like that when i yeah. found it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let's be honest. No, that's, that's like, true. That's true. Yeah. But yeah, at least you know, we that was also part of this kind mm -hmm. of, you know, dialogue that we had and like some ongoing kind of conversations where you said, look, no, that no, no none that we can think of. Let's let's mm. phrase it that way. So we went through this entire yeah. kind of change backlog, trying to see if there was anything that that, that stood out, um, with a focus obviously on you know um, HF Lang, any kind of geo setup, etc. And I think you know uh, you know with the CCTLDs that I mentioned, obviously you know Search Console couldn't also be very much of the reason because mm -hmm. the, the, I mean the targeting for the CCTLDs is set by default anyways, right? So. True. You couldn't make the mistake of, True. let's say, yeah. wrongly target exactly, that one. Exactly, yeah, because the country levels 
TLDs like D E A T C H F R already are doing that for exactly. you. That's true. Huh. Exactly. So that couldn't, you know, yeah. it could have also been like a mistake that someone yeah, made exactly. by like accident, accidentally, not wrong settings, noticing. no nothing. Mm. But no, there wasn't. There wasn't that either. So um, we're like, okay, this, you know, and then the, the next obvious thing that you look at in, in, in the process, I mean, when you don't find any kind of, you know, tickets or, yeah. or changes or whatever. Nothing it, obvious enough. Nothing to obvious. You, you kind of, at least that's what we did. Like you start poking around, right? I mean, big I mean, part, what, what big, else big part of the SEO yeah. <laughs> kind of job, I suppose, is, uh, you know, trying to investigate yeah. uh, and, and trying to figure out, you know, what was going on. So. What you could see this is where it gets when you, magical, yeah, we yeah, are at least kind of interesting, I would yeah. say. So, I think you know when you when you're trying to build this case, so the, the way we like usually go about it, mm. um, it's like that you obviously first look into uh, kind of some of the the external metrics. So we kind of yep. looked into like you know visibility development, yeah, yeah. Uh, where you could see like okay, you know the, the German domain spiked in in Austria, the Austrian one tanked in Austria. Where did you find this information? So I think that was taken from Systrix at the time, right, okay. um, but you could also confirm it like using GSC because I was about to you say, know Google Search Console exactly, gives you this information exactly. Too, yeah. So like impression share goes up yeah. uh, or goes down respectively. But what I really liked about that at the time is like you could build overlay charts, which GSC didn't allow ah, you to do. So you could you could I print see. the visibility yeah. curves like next yeah. to each other. You would see okay, that's on a on a on a, on a week's time mm -hmm. frame. There are some spikes that kind of correlate with you know. A drop, the, okay. respectively. Ooh. So you're like, okay, the, you know, at least at the same time frame, mm -hmm. there was something happening mm -hmm. affecting all the three different kind of domains. I see. Oh, yeah, okay. That's why I kind of yeah. like the yeah. like the external Get it. kind of mm -hmm. confirmation as well. Get it. Yeah. Um, but you're completely right. I guess that's. I think one of the mistakes that people sometimes make is just rely on one data source, which is really dangerous. Yes. Um, so I think like. If, at least a confirmation from another another source, you know, uh, certainly yeah. is a is a is an advisable. I think the English term is like red herrings, and as a yeah. developer, I know yeah. that so yeah, really yeah, well. Yeah. Like you do log file analysis, and then you see like weird things, and you're like, hmm, I think that can never happen, and then you like figure <laughs> out like it actually does never happen. It's yeah. just a mistake in how we configured logging, for instance. Yeah. yeah okay. Fair enough. Oh God. Okay, so then you had like your data sources, you had yeah. Strix, and you had uh, Google Search Console, yeah. and you realized something is funky because it's moving and it was stable, like literally yeah, stable. Like nothing slide. happened on the sides, no. but yeah. Ooh. So yeah, and then I mean, you you, you go down the rabbit hole, right? So mm -hmm. essentially, it's <laughs> you know, it's it's the it's the markup that you kind of need to at least have a, 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 yeah. a look at, and I mean. The hreflang implementation at the time yeah. was done uh, in HTML. Yeah. So uh, obviously, first things first, you kind of go and check your implementation. Even yeah. though you know everyone says, look, it hasn't <coughs> been, it hadn't changed, like nothing. Mm -hmm. But you know, maybe you don't want to trust that, <laughs> and rather <laughs> kind of validate yourself. Yes. So I mean, and I think the the, the obvious ones are, I mean, the, the, the stuff that that Search Console is also reporting, like like you know, um, the the return links are mm -hmm. missing. That wasn't mm -hmm. the case. You know, do the target URLs respond yeah. with the proper status code? So yeah. you check for the 200. You yeah. check that they're not canonicalized elsewhere yeah. or that they're, you know, part of that entire yeah. relation group. I mean, let's right? be honest, hreflang <laughs> setup is complex to do. It right? is. It's it is. not an easy thing. No. And it's, it's good that you did, did, did a double check on these things. So, But you did not find any. No. And, and you know, what really confused me was that huh. it, it worked, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you're you completely right. The implementation of hreflang is really a beast, right? If we're, yeah. very, if we're very honest. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have not been surprised if it would have been new. And then it didn't work. Honestly, but it's my working hypothesis until this point, but I have a feeling that my hypothesis is not going to be true. <laughs> but let's let's go go ahead. Yeah, All so, right. So you know, let's check mark the, the yes. HF lung for the time being. That okay. that worked. So we kind of also uh, use some some you know external tools. Like I think right. there's a Chrome plugin to kind of you know do all of those testing oh, again. I didn't know that. Yeah, there's a call, I think it's called check HF lung or something like that, where you just have Whoop. at least it does at scale check if you know all the responses come yeah, back yeah. with 200, etc. So Ooh. at least it kind of takes away a bit of the legwork. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so HF Lung, you was know, fine. by looking at the HTML was entirely fine. Um, hmm. So I was honestly, I was clueless. I was like, what's going on here? So the geotargeting is there. Um, GSC, fine, like yeah. all good. Uh, HF Lung is there. Yeah. Also good as well. Um, so then I had a head of this, you know, there is sometimes if you work with 
CDMs, for example. Oh. Um, <laughs> there can be funny things happening, right? Content distribution um, networks are fantastic. Yes. But um, there can be a beast. Yeah, and, and again, fairly, as you said, like fairly yeah. complex to, uh, especially to maintain. Yeah. Um, you know, setup is yeah. one thing, but then, then you maintenance, have to maintain if, it's, if it's different nodes, different data centers, caching, uh, caching big very, fun. very big yeah. topic. So um, I was like, okay, maybe um, maybe something is, is, going, yeah. is going on on that front. So the, the two theories that, that we had at the time was like, okay, a, it could be that there's something going on based on a user agent uh, oh, um, setting, like a, like one of these content injection things. That are for like example, spam. so the the, oh. the, the, the e-commerce platform at the time was a Magento, I believe, mm -hmm. um, and there were that's a popular target. It is a popular target, similar to like WordPress and WordPress others. And like others yeah. there were a, a lot of like hacks going on where um, I think, if I recall correctly, mm. you know, it was a lot of injection into HD access. Yeah, yeah. And then, and you then would depending on up, which exactly. user agent you're coming from, Google sees one thing, and then the actual user sees another exactly. thing, and they see like spam links and stuff. Like, okay, fair enough. So I was like, okay, maybe something not specifically necessarily with the focus on, on Google, but maybe something went south. Yeah, some, something there. went wrong. Yeah. Like, so we're we're going from a geo-based issue towards more like a server configuration. Yeah, kind of. That was the idea, at least. I mean, yeah. Like, what else? Okay. So I was like, okay, let's let's you know poke around uh, with that. So again, I mean, what what we used at the time. Uh, there's a plugin for Chrome called User, user Agent Spoofer. Yes. Um, which is, I think, super helpful. Yeah, where you yeah, can yeah. just set up, you know, custom user agents. You can do that natively thing. now if you go into True. the developer tools. You can yeah. switch the yeah. It's which is cool. a, which is a which is really a very helpful feature. <laughs> yes. um, I have to I have to admit. Quite uh, hidden it, though. It, True, and but it takes away like yeah. a lot of this, you know, need for um, you know external additional yeah, plugins, exactly. which yeah, we all know doesn't make trust. It, and, yeah, yeah, and then the cooler gets slow, etc. So, yeah. yeah. But yeah, so we did that. User agent based, I would say, again, sadly, nothing, no luck. Um, then I had, uh, I had a theory. We, to be honest, is a good thing, but it's annoying that yeah, it's yeah, not it, the source it, of the problem. A, okay, yeah, so it's the, not the list of potential <laughs> things that you can look at got like really getting, small, right? So, yeah. um, so we did that, and then um, I was like, okay, maybe going back to the CDN, but not on the, you know, not on the. Did they um, use the CDN? Yeah, they did. You're ah, right. right. Good point to mention that they did uh, for um, specifically for like imagery and static files, right, but yeah. also um, for like DDoS protection. So they had it ah. up front. Um, so a lot of this mm -hmm. stuff went through the exactly. global was, was routing of, through the yes, thing and, exactly. Yeah, okay, got it. So I thought, okay, the other way that could you know what could be is that there's something funky going on with redirects um, because we we had seen cases you know where people by accident, for example, did something just for US specific. Oh. IP addresses, oh. right? And which is oh, yeah. maybe not a good idea. No. Um, so you know, I think we have seen cases, and I guess you guys as well, where like you know, all of a sudden, US traffic went to a specific holding page, yeah, and all of a sudden, yeah. only that holding page could be crawled yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and indexed respectively. And then we're like, oh, all the content is now. So I was like, so I was like, okay, maybe it has something to do with like geo-specific mm -hmm. redirects, redirects on the CDN yeah. level. But again, nothing. So I kind of got really frustrated um, and went back. I was like, this, this doesn't <laughs> work. Like, so it's, it's not the geo targeting. Yeah. It's not the server configuration or the CDN. Yeah. So you know, um, I was like, OK. Then, yeah, it ha I mean, it had to be somewhere. Uh, yeah. Because again, like the only thing that kind of kept me sane at the point was like, <laughs> OK, it worked. It, it, it used to work. work. It did yeah. work really well. So ah. they like the client was literally like dominating their mm. market, and they were ranking in insanely strong. Wild question. So you say you were like seeing fluctuations mm -hmm. uh, as we speak, as in like was the prob? Okay, it sounds stupid to say that, but like was was the problem at least constant? Yeah. Or, like, okay. And it got worse. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. So we, we discovered it at like this one week where the client reached out, and then we had this. We had this. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we had this. We had this overlay. I think live after mm -hmm. maybe a week ish or so. But like and the you second week, you could worse. see it got worse. So like the Austrian side in Austria kind of went down further. I was like, no, mm. okay. this, this is not going to solve not itself. Great. Yeah. So going back to my uh, original theory of uh, hate HF Lang being a potential problem, right. I was like, you know. Let's try something crazy, and let's take the HF flag and put it into an XML sitemap. Okay. So you know, and part of me thought maybe the processing for whatever reason didn't work. Right. I mean, no at the, at real reason. Point, but I was. Kind you know of, what? At this point, no shame. No shame. I was like, this is all options. Yeah. I was all options. And it did. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> Admittedly, that was uh, a bit of a waste of resources. But I mean, again, again. No, I don't think so. Because, you know, you got to try the options that you have. And yeah. sometimes it's ridiculous yeah. stuff. And in this case, unfortunately, well, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on the yeah. viewpoint, it wasn't yeah. that. Okay. No, I mean, in, in fairness, it was it was relatively low effort because we had well maintained sign ups yeah. in the first place. Yeah. And then, like, just kind of wasn't putting them biggie. together wasn't, mm. it was, it was okay for. And for where we were, I, I like that this happens in this conversation because I feel like we live in a highlight real world where mm -hmm. everyone's like, mm -hmm. we had this problem that we spotted immediately, right. and then we did this one thing and it worked, hooray! Yeah. Which is never that's never true. That's I don't know. I'd say it's really the case. Yeah, it's um, really the case. Like most of the time, I'm sitting in front of a problem. I'm like, nah, that's weird. And then you dig and dig and yeah. dig, and you have the hypothesis, and yeah. it doesn't work, and it doesn't yeah. work, and it doesn't work, and eventually you figure it out. So. Yeah. Yeah, that so didn't so, so that didn't work. Um, then we decided at some point, uh, did it, you know, we submitted them obviously in yeah. Search Console. Like, they, like yeah, yeah, yeah. processed all of that. Done. Um, okay, didn't no didn't work. So mm. I was like, okay, the only result that I have again is going back to the to the to the source code and just start from from the beginning. Um, and then I probably looked at it like five thousand times or, mm -hmm. or more. I don't know. I'm I, I honestly don't know anymore. But um, <laughs> so there was at some point I spotted like um, I, I went like deep line by line through yeah. the head, right yeah. through the head tech and or respective like yeah. childs because um, you know it had to be somewhere. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There needed to be some some reason for it. And the the one thing that at some point got my attention was actually uh, a no script tag. In the head. Oh, <laughs> I, I, a couple of, I think, weeks or months ago at this point, yeah. I had a conversation with the rendering team because we saw behavior related to no scripts in heads. Yeah. And I was I was honestly thinking they're not allowed in the head. But turns out I was wrong. They're, the standard allows them in the head. Mm -hmm. Didn't know. Uh, I, I didn't know that either. Um, but there were a couple of things that came together when I looked at it. And right. So first of all, I thought you know that must have been there forever anyway. So yeah. I didn't like I didn't think anything. Nothing changed. The nothing one thing was that touched. the one thing that I kind of that, that that caught my attention was that the like kind of SEO directives, mm -hmm. if you so will, right? Yeah. So, I mean, including HRF Lang, but also some others. So like all the metadata that is exactly. not part of the content. Exactly. But like, okay. Mm -hmm. So if you look at it from an from an like uh, order perspective, yeah. Right. So there was like, there was I think there was a title and then some some other stuff. Then what yeah, yeah. was the no script, and then I had like HRF Lang and some other stuff. Oh. So I was like, okay, so you know, maybe. Maybe it has oh. to do something with that, and mm. so I went back to the to the to the to the client. It's like you know, look, there's this there's this no script tag. Like oh, no. I'm I'm fairly sure it has been there forever. Can you yeah. like confirm yeah. or deny or give me exactly? No, no, of course that has been talk, there. Talk about it. Yeah. Talk about it. It has been there forever. It has been there forever, according to um, according to the person. I think there were multiple people involved mm -hmm. at that point in, in the conversation, and everyone was like fairly sure. No, that must have been there. Yeah, forever. that must have been there forever. Um, and so I, I wasn't really convinced. Um, for whatever reason, I wasn't convinced. Um, <laughs> and I was out of options as well. So the, 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 the thought that I had at the time was mm. like to, to kill everything from the hat tag uh, and just have the, the, the href lung yeah. um, and, and the title and maybe the description. I mean, you don't have to throw everything out. You can just move it up. Yeah, yeah. That would have been the other way. But like, I was really yeah, desperate. I was like, like, OK, I just want to get rid of everything. I want to just make sure. Exactly. I, you you want to establish a baseline, yeah. right? Yeah. You want to be like, OK, so now we have a yeah. solid foundation to yeah. work from. Because yeah. I mean, to be honest, it can't get worse, can it? No, no, no. I mean, it clearly didn't work anymore. Yeah. Um, so, like, we had to reestablish some kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. some kind of mechanism. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I mean, we th that's kind of what 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 happened. So we um, we kind of went and took away a lot of the the, the bloat, including wow, you including this oh. no script tag. Getting buy-in for that must have been tricky. No? They were desperate. In okay, fairness, enough, it was a enough, massive right. impact on the bottom line. Okay, yeah. Um, so they're like, so they're like whatever. I mean, You're going to nuke this website. Yeah, sure, sure. Do it. Just make it work. <laughs> I think the cool thing is if you work with clients that kind of understand the contribution of SEO yeah. to the overall business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, again, saying that it was a short head or is a short head business, like PPC is extremely expensive. So you need a positive contribution from, from other channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So SEO is crucial to their, to yeah, their, yeah, to their business enough, model. To the, to the business so model, they, yeah. I think, you know, as unexperienced as they were in some areas when mm -hmm. like phrasing the, the questions, they at least but, like, understood, they understood exactly. the value of what yes. you're bringing to yes. the table. Okay, which that is, is awesome. Which is, which is great yes. because I think one of the big issues that we're also facing oftentimes is like the, the lack of buy-in, yeah. um, in, in generally oh, speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that was there. So they yeah. kind of trusted us, even though there was this problem yeah, yeah. still present. 
to kind of just go for it, um, which is great, right? This is yeah. like a great relation between the yeah. teams. So yeah, we essentially kind of trimmed this entirely down um, and like resubmitted it. And for whatever funny reason, without understanding why uh, at the point, it was fine. Yeah, things started to move. I mean, you have the you have the GSC impression share coming back right. relatively quickly. Okay. So that establishes that it is something it's, happening yeah, in the head. Exactly, mm. but it didn't. I, at that point in time, I had click. no understanding uh, why mm -hmm. that script. So how did you out. how did you then figure out what was going on with it? I mean, I guess you you looked at view source kind of and yeah, like, exactly. What is this no script doing? And then everyone's was like, no, it has always been here. Yeah, you removed it. Yeah, and surprise, surprise, it came yeah, exactly. all back to and life. Th yeah, completely crazy at that point. But I think the, the the crucial difference between like the view source situation, which is just like you know the the, the regular markup, mm -hmm. versus if you look at something as the rendered DOM. Mm -hmm. Which is a fairly big difference, apparently. We right? do have a lightning talk on that mm -hmm. because the render DOM and the yeah. actual DOM that the server sends, uh, sorry, the, the HTML that the server sends and the render DOM are not the same thing. But yeah. all right, so yeah. And, and uh, that is exactly, I think, the, the, the biggest yeah. conceptual thing yeah, yeah, here yeah. that kind of, um, because you know, it has, it's been a while ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, what wasn't really on people's yeah. radar. And also at the time when you looked into a lot of the tools, like fetch as Google. Yeah, that also didn't really help so much at that point. But also like like you know, third party tools didn't yeah. have no. any kind of dedicated report now. And as, I think it's a big shout out to like, you know, the likes of Sightball, but also like, mm. you know, Screaming Frog, yeah. etc. They have like they dedicated have... they now have dedicated yeah. reports saying, look, there's something funky in your head that according yeah. to specification or right. shouldn't be there. So at least have a look. Right. Um, because we did crawl the entire thing, right? Fair, and but it, nothing... that doesn't give you the render DOM because it doesn't run JavaScript. Exactly. So what did you do to find the problem? Well, essentially, we went back to kind of comparing rendered versus versus unrendered. Right? How did you find the rendered thing using? Um, well, I think at the time there was the old Google tool, which I can't recall the name for now. What was it? Inspect, the old Google tool. Inspect, not inspect the fetch is Google. No, the fetch and render. No, the external one. The external one, not the mobile friendly one, but well, the, the, rich have, result the rich result. One. One. The rich result. The structured one. data validator. That one. Structured data testing tool. That that's one. The, one. the structured. Yeah. Okay. Structured data testing tool. Yeah. So yeah. So we went. from the past though. Yeah, but it, I mean, this yeah. issue is a uh, you know, I think seeing this yeah, yeah. happen years and years ago, kind Fair. of getting yeah. to getting on people's radar, and at the time we had we had the structured data testing tool, yeah. which reproduced like the render yeah. DOM for true, for true, Google true, true. It did, um, it did. for Google Bot in a way. Yeah. And that was extremely helpful, and then there's also um, a, a cool a plugin in Chrome again where you could see like side by side. Oh yeah, um, a view rendered source. View rendered source, mm. and then like raw and rendered and different. And then the diff, yeah. And I think the other one that that we used a lot in the past is just diff checker. So diff you, checker. you you kind of co copy those two together, and, and then, then you, you would see. spot uh, basically what kind of is happening behind the scenes, and what's what happening, happening or was was happening behind the scenes was essentially like the the iframe um, which was part in the the no script. So it's no script, and there was an iframe in the no script. Uh, essentially closes the head tag. Head, because an iframe shall not be in the head. Exactly. So the no script per se was not really <sighs> my biggest problem. The problem was the content in the no script. Exactly. Oh, God. So, yeah. I, oh, that's a weird. I think that's probably like a side effect of a workaround that mm -hmm. we do for images that might be in no script tags. And I think iframes are included as well, where they yeah. drag the. Oh, God. OK. Ouch. <laughs> Yeah, essentially, what happened was if you look at the then rendered yeah. uh, um, output, um, and this probably in, in retro should have been happening earlier, but OK. Um, it didn't used to be that much of a problem. No, it didn't. It didn't. So essentially, it was a misimplementation. Yeah. They uh, did this no script um, slash iframe situation and put it in the hat. It was, as it turned out, it was new. So someone did. Oh, but no. it wasn't. It hasn't been there. It hasn't been there. I mean, <laughs> We didn't change anything. No, no, though. that was what they said. But it apparently, just fell from the sky. Yeah, you know, somewhere it came from at least. That's that's yeah. for sure. But yeah, no, I'm kidding. Kidding aside, that 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 clearly was what was happening. So like this new oh, line got introduced. Yeah. Unfortunately for us, so you would you would say also above 
like the SEO directive, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So, so that it, it closed have, the head and exactly all the... before like they'd be even kind of processing yeah. uh, the the kind yeah. of uh, HF lung right. um, situation at the time. And none of the testing tools caught it because they didn't render yeah. and didn't see the Correct. same. Output. They only checked the validity of the syntax. Right? Ouch. But not uh, not the real output. Wow. Yeah. That is a harrowing fairy So that tale was an interesting one. Yeah. Oof, gee. So customer came to you with a very unhelpful question of why is Google not working for us anymore? Yeah. Uh, you clarify that question through a series of more you know, detailed questions to give you a better idea. Yeah. You looked at the geo setup in Search Console. You did a crawl. You suspected hreflang because it was a geo location issue. At least it looked like one. Yeah. Couldn't figure out what was happening there. It all looked good in implementation-wise. You then finally looked at the source code. Compared the render DOM to the service and HTML, realized there's a difference. And then that difference impacted the way that the metadata was not in the head anymore. Yeah. Correct. And that, that solved the problem. Yeah, so essentially the the, the fix was Oof. basically, I mean the quick fix was just taking it off. Yeah, which yeah, obviously yeah. wasn't like the, the long term you solution because move the, exactly yeah. right so we just kind of got rid of everything and then like once we established you know that that apparently was causing yeah. the problem like we let it i think yeah. sit for a week just seeing yeah. you know if it kind of yeah. gets back to level like you could see the recovery yeah. relatively quickly again like going back to the impression share in, yeah. like in, in in GSC like everything was kind of moving back to like this old baseline if you saw yeah. for for like all domains and then we kind of went back and right. just moved the uh, the, the script right. to where it actually belongs, uh, which okay. is not in head, obviously. Not in the head. Um, surprise, so, surprise. Yeah. So that uh, interesting. Yeah. So on a very high level, I think this is a fantastic approach, like clarifying the problem, then making a hypothesis, working to falsify or verify the hypothesis, and like going through your tools until you find the culprit, and then actually fixing that based on what you find. That that makes a lot of sense. That's that's really cool. And wow, holy moly! Like congratulations for for figuring that one out. That is. An amazing fairy yeah, it was tale. A, it was a funny one, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, all right. That's true. Bastian, wow. Thank you so, so much for telling me the story. That was really, really cool. You're welcome. I do hope uh, that these stories won't repeat themselves. But <laughs> I'm, I'm really grateful to have you here as a guest today. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Much appreciated. And uh, to all of you out there, I do hope that this was interesting and you learned a bit about an approach to actually fix these kind of problems. If you liked the episode, you know, press like. Let us know in the comments if you ever saw like a problem that was described very differently from the person uh, coming to you than what it was actually causing it, you know. Stay safe, stay healthy and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.